So tomorrow morning, I am flying to Phoenix, Arizona to uh, spend a week with my sister, my little sister. She's having surgery and uh, I'm going to come take care of her, even though she has a husband, but she has three kids and he really needs to focus on the kids and I'll, I'll focus on her because I'm a good little nurse. Out of respect for her privacy, I'm not going to talk about what her surgery is because it's not my story to tell. But I will be there making my TikToks this week, hopefully getting some sun. My little sister's a badass, okay? Um, we She is only two years younger than me, so we went to um, school together. And uh, <laughs> I forced her to do everything that I did. I made her become a cheerleader. I made her do pageants. I forced her to go <laughs> to my college. Like, I called the college, pretended to be our mom, and signed her up for everything. Because <laughs> she was on her way to be in the military. And this is like the Afghan war. And I was like, ah, no. Years later, I did apologize to her for forcing her to follow exactly in my footsteps for the most part. Um, and even though I was doing it for the right intentions, and I was young and dumb, <sighs> I still really wasn't giving her a choice. So I do feel bad about that. But she worked it out and she got a degree in communications and she is like vice president, assistant vice president at some big old company, an insurance company. And I could not be more proud of her. I mean, this is my little sister that when she was just 10 years old, saw my stepfather who was fresh out of prison and married my mom, um, strangling her with a telephone cord one night and trying to kill our mother. And she was 10 years old <laughs> and had the forward thought to call 911. And he ran and she saved my mother's life. We had a very difficult childhood. And the fact that she is where she is today, I'm so proud of her. So if you live in Phoenix, I'm going to be under your sun this week. Hopefully I see you around.